well, well, to put it kindly, I think it's 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 a pretty embarrassing proposal. Um, I mean, in fact, I had to pinch myself in the arm when I heard Commission President Barroso launching this idea in his State of the Union speech last autumn. Um, I mean, back, back then we were in the middle of a financial crisis where some of us was actually trying to figure out whether the Eurozone was going to blow up or not. Um, you know, an EU with low or negative economic growth. And at that point, he decides to launch this new initiative that his own colleagues say would clearly have a depressing effect on economic growth. In fact, I mean, the Commission's own impact assessment suggests a transaction tax of of this kind or a slightly different kind that they proposed is going to shave off EU GDP by almost 2%. And 2% in a 12.5 trillion economy, that's, you know, pretty much money. Um, so, I mean, I think it's, it's the idea itself is silly. Uh, and I, I don't think it's going to go anywhere, which is very good news for Europe. I think I mean, the main lesson is that this is nothing you should do unless you have a desperate urge to make financial activity, to emigrate away from your own country. Um, I mean, the lesson from from my mother country, from what they did in, in the late 1980s and what uh, the government in 1991 took away is that even a very small transaction task, tax is going to have disproportionate effects on the volumes of trade. So almost all trade and securities in Sweden in the 1980s migrated away from Sweden, mostly to London. And a substantial part of trade and equities, too, migrated away to other countries, not only to London, but to other countries as well. Norway was one of the more common destinations for uh, the equities trade that migrated away from Sweden. Oslo, which is a much smaller city than Stockholm, became a much bigger financial center than Stockholm in the late 1980s, early 1990s. And it took a good time for Sweden's exchanges to recover from what it what it lost in the 1980s, and to some extent, it hasn't recovered yet. So, I mean, as I said, I mean, you you really you really need to have an urge to, you know, make financial activity of different kinds to migrate away from the economy in order to do that. And what what you also could add is that taxes like these. Uh, they don't tend to raise as much revenue as you expect. The transaction tax in Sweden was planned to raise, if I remember correctly, around 1.5 billion Swedish kronos back in the 1980s. And when it peaked, I think it took in around 80 million Swedish kronos. At the same time, it also eroded the revenues that the Swedish government took in from the capital gains tax because all the financial activity that migrates away to other jurisdictions. So the notion that you actually could increase your revenues by a tax like this, I think that's 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 an addition. Um, I think it's you know one of these things that you hear every now and then. I mean, it's something that we've heard since the 1980s, and it's it's a tax, it's a solution that has been proposed for all kinds of illnesses in the global economy. But even so, I think it still is a solution that is yet searching for the exact problem that it wants to solve. I think it's completely unrealistic to, to believe that you actually can introduce a global tax like this the appetite for it in other parts than Europe is almost less than zero. So there is no, there is no real case for, uh, for believing that you actually can do it. But even if you could, even if you assume that all other cities or centers in the world where some financial activity takes place, if you assume that all of them were keen to sign up to tax like that, I'm not so sure that the benefits or the effects of the tax would be good. In fact, I'm quite sure that the effects of the tax would be pretty bad, simply because they were going to raise tax 
sorry, raise, the, the effect is that you're going to raise the cost of financial services. And if you raise the cost of financial services, you're going to have a depressing effect on on many other businesses or many other exchanges that take place in the real economy simply because financial transactions and financial activity is a general purpose type of service and whatever you do in order to fiddle with that particular element it's going to have strong consequences on the rest of the economy so even a small tax on on financial transactions globally will have fairly substantial ramifications on on real exchange, real economic activity if if they decide to do that. Well, it's going to affect everyone. Um, I mean, the notion that this is a tax that's only going to affect some rich bankers is simply an illusion. You cannot you cannot think, you cannot believe that introducing a tax like that is going to only going to affect a very small minority with high incomes that work in this particular business. Everyone that is being affected by the tax on the production side is going to uh, transfer it to the consumers. And as consumers, we all have to pay for it. This is not anything new with a tax like that. It's, it's a tax incidence effect that we see all across the tax scale and all across the world economies that if you introduce taxes on producers, they are going to transfer the cost of the taxes to the consumers. Well, hopefully there will not be any more steps. Uh, I think it would be pretty good to just stop this silly dance right now. Um, I'm afraid that we may see some new actions being taken. I mean, the fact that the Commission itself decides to initiate this proposal despite knowing the disastrous consequences it will have for the Eurozone or the European economy, that at least to me suggests that they are doing it for other purposes than, than economics. And if they're doing it for other purposes than economics, they're probably going to find other ways to try to increase the tax burden on either the financial sector or on financial transactions themselves. And it's I think an issue, I mean, a question about time uh, uh, before we're going to see the Commission coming up with perhaps other proposals to achieve what at least they think they want to achieve with a transaction tax. So I don't think the last word has been said yet. Hopefully, any sort of new proposals that, that's going to come up will also be effectively counted by member states and by large opinions across Europe that understand that you cannot simply tax a sector in the economy and think that that sector is going to behave more productively or better than it's done in the past. But that's the illusion which lies behind this Tobin tax or this financial transaction tax and other sort of tax proposals that we've seen for the financial sector in the recent past.